Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa. Welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. This is what we are tackling today. A um, couple things I'm just going to warn you about before we get started. I am really anal retentive. I'm a perfectionist and sometimes I get upset when things don't turn out the way that I want them to. So with that being said, we are going to try building this gingerbread house. While I build the gingerbread house, like a week or so ago, I put something on Instagram and asked for things to talk about while I'm building this so that it's not super, super awkward. So I have those on my iPad so that I have things to talk about and I'm not just rambling for no reason, which is what I tend to do on this channel. So thank you for sticking around. This gingerbread house is from Target and I didn't fully intend on buying it. I had to get other things for um, other people for Christmas and I was $10 away from free shipping and this was a suggestion, so I felt like I needed it. So this is called the Classic Gingerbread House. I am gonna really shoot for mine to look like that. It, it probably won't. Um, I also went to school for culinary and I used to decorate cakes, so I feel like I should be really good at this, but like I said, sometimes I get really frustrated if things don't turn out the way that I want them to. So we're gonna see how this goes and let's get started. It's because I have to knead this for two minutes to make it more adhesive and fluid. So I'll just be massaging this icing just for like a hot sec. Okay, let me get into my first question. What are you wearing? I'm wearing champion black jogger sweatpants and this hoodie that Allie made for the gym I work at, Dynamic. Um, I don't remember what year I got this hoodie, to be really honest. Probably like three-ish years ago. I'm wearing a Nike sports bra, uh, Nike socks, and my underwear is from Aerie. Try this wall. Next question. Um, how tall are you? Five foot one. How much do you weigh? I don't really have a scale at my house. Uh, I would say between like 95 and 100. I don't know. I've been around there for years, so probably something like that. Do you have any tattoos? I have one on my hip. Um, I showed it in my last vlog because I had a bathing suit on. I hate it. I want it removed literally so bad. Um, it's not even like the tattoo was poorly done. I just did not get it at a good time in my life at all. And I don't like what it represents. I don't like the person that I was when I got it. So I'm sure that at some point in my life, I will get it removed. Thank God. And I'm not opposed to tattoos. I'm not even opposed to getting other tattoos. I just want to get ones that actually mean something to me and not something stupid like this one. You brat. Oh, it says to hold for two minutes and let it dry for 15. That makes sense. It's not really uh, getting anywhere. So I'm going to let this dry for like 15 minutes, like it says. And hopefully by the time we come back, I can put the roof on it. Okay, I'm back. I just let it dry for 15 minutes and now I'm just holding this little rooftop piece in place so that it doesn't fall off. Um, my mom called me and asked me if I'm supposed to get a Christmas present for someone I've only gone on a couple dates with. And I did not know the answer to that question. It would feel weird to not because Christmas is literally at the end of this week and I'm gonna see him right before Christmas. So it would definitely be strange to not acknowledge the major holiday coming up. 
but also we've only been on three dates. But also each of those dates has been bare minimum six hours long. So technically we've been on three dates, but technically it's been a lot of hours. So it's really like 10 dates. I don't know. I don't know what the protocol is on that. I don't know if that's like jumping the gun. It does feel kind of weird though to not like acknowledge the fact that Christmas is coming. I'm not sure. I didn't know how to answer that question. I still really don't. This is all brand new territory for me. I've never gone on this many dates with someone and genuinely enjoyed myself. Usually after like the first or second, I'm like, no, let me keep trying. And then for some reason this time, I'm like, no, actually these are kind of fun. So that's where I'm at, but I do not know. So let me get to the next actual question. Do you have any piercings? I do. I have one hole in each ear. I got those when I was like three months old or something. And then I have my belly button pierced. Next question is, what is your favorite show? My favorite show of all time ever is Friends. Um, I've seen every single episode. I literally am not exaggerating when I say probably over 100 times. I've been watching it since I was little because my mom always used to watch it when it was new. And it's my favorite show. I could quote like every single episode, word for word. It's a problem. If I were to put all of my like confidence in one like topic, it would be that show, which sounds really lame. But like if there was a trivia show going on and like friends was one of the categories, I would feel the most confident about that. Should I like put something under this to stabilize it or get it to stay? No way. Dude, the freaking wall just came off, fell on the floor, and broke. This looks stupid now. Look at that. Call me Joanna Gaines because I'm about to fix her upper this freaking house. What's, what's the trick to these? Oh, we're not stable. I can relate. I get it. Literally same. Let's try that again. Shall we? This is exciting for everybody, I'm sure. I have a good feeling about it. So the hope is that if I put these cups here, the wall won't move. I don't think it's going to happen. So instead of boring you, with a long video just of me trying to get this crap together. I think what I'm gonna do is let this house fully dry. And then tomorrow when I get home from coaching, all I have to do is decorate it. And then the vlog will be done. And it'll be me painfully putting this together and decorating it. Because right now it's nine o'clock. I haven't showered. I haven't done anything to get ready for work. I have to make my bed. I have to put my laundry away. I have to do all this other stuff. And I don't think I have time to do all of that and finish this. So this is started. We're gonna let this simmer. And then hopefully tomorrow it's all dry and it still looks like this. I am crossing my fingers. I'm speaking to God. Please don't let this house fall apart. In Jesus's name, amen. Okay, hello. It's a new day. Um, it's Monday. I literally just got home. I'm absolutely starving. But I really need to finish this. So here we go. Um, I let it dry all night. So everything is sticking together. This is how she looks. Absolutely adorable. Okay. So what we're going to do. I think 
first. I have to stick this little chimney on. I'm confused though. Oh, this is the chimney. This is part of the door. I see. I break this, I get. Okay, jeez. Okay. That's broken. A very large zit happening down here. Just leave me be. Like, right there. There's the front. It's not really even, but too bad. This little chimney. Adorable. Wow. Moving forward. Putting this guy up here. My part's done. Ish. Put a little squiggly. Mm. I'm literally just doing this so fast because I'm so hungry. But I want to get it posted as soon as I can. Also, who eats these gumdrops? Because I think they're disgusting. Personally, I think they're super, super gross. I just realized I was supposed to be answering questions during this and I've just been awkwardly and silently decorating this gingerbread house instead of doing that. So let's get to the next question, which is, what is something that you miss? Uh, the warm weather. <laughs> In New York, it is already super cold. It hasn't been that snowy yet, thank God. I hate the snow, but it's been really cold. I miss, I miss cheering, but I miss when cheering was like easy. I cheered last year and it was not easy. Um, it was really, really stressful, but I definitely miss cheering. I also miss traveling and I kind of miss having free time. I haven't had that since the winter season started because of cheer. So um, I'm really looking forward to this winter break to start this week because it would just be nice to, I mean, I'm still practicing, but it'll be nice to not feel like I'm running around like a crazy person all the time, which is what I feel constantly. Um, what is your favorite song? That's hard. I like a lot of music. My favorite song right now is probably Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. Um, I just think that one's really fun to play and like listen to when I'm in the car. Um, what's your Zodiac? I'm a Gemini, which I'm not really into Zodiacs or horoscopes or like any of that stuff. But every time I've ever read anything about Geminis, it's always like scary accurate. even try. This chimney falls. I'm gonna go post I'm gonna go postal. Alright, what other crap can I put on this? I'm not usually this miserable. I'm just so tired and hungry and I just want to be done with this video. 
it has been a day. I feel very like overstimulated today. Like all I want to do right now is not talk to anybody and sit and do nothing. However, I need to finish this video so that I can get it posted before midnight and complete, you know, day 20 of Vlogmas. So I don't really have the option to not talk. Um, it's been pretty fun doing Vlogmas so far, but it do be kind of stressful. And I'm stressed out and I barely have followers or subscribers, whatever. I can't imagine someone who has a lot of subscribers and decides to do Vlogmas because it is a task. Especially because I'm trying to like get ahead of the game and record them like the day before so that I have something to post the next day so that I'm not doing what I'm doing now and recording them and posting in the same day because that is too freaking much. But it's hard. It's hard and I don't even think anyone cares that I'm doing this. But I care because I committed to doing it all month and I don't want to not follow through. So if I seem like I'm in a bad mood, I'm just tired and I'm stressed and I really need a break from quite a few things at the current time. So I'm sorry. That's part of the reason why this gingerbread house looks like crap. It looks like a crack house. Like I wouldn't, if I were a gingerbread, I don't think I would come here. Okay, next question. Qualities you look for in a partner. Um, sense of humor. If you're not funny, I don't I don't think we have any business hanging out with each other. Or if you don't at least understand my sense of humor. I hate when I make a joke and people don't get it. It like bothers me. Um, so sense of humor, loyalty, um, I feel like someone who, what the heck, supports me in anything that I do, especially because I'm coaching. I would never want to be with someone who makes me feel bad about being a coach or like spending time away from them to do something that I love. I see a lot of people, especially in cheer, talk about how their husbands just like don't want them to be coaches and don't support them. I would never in a million years be with somebody who was like that. Um, and I mean, it can take a lot of time away, but it's something I love to do. So definitely someone who's supportive, um, somebody who likes kids and wants kids. I wouldn't want to be with somebody who doesn't. And I don't know. I, I don't need a guy under any circumstances at all, but, um, I just feel like someone someone who's supportive and brings out like the best in me, but understands that I'm still like independent at the same time and I don't need to rely on them for anything. Um, yeah. I'm trying one. Oh, hmm. It tastes like apple. Hmm. How long does it take you to shower? Good question. Um, I can be in the shower for literally up to two hours. My showers are like 30 minutes. No, they're like 10 minutes of actual showering, like shampoo, conditioner, shave, wash my body, whatever. And then um, I just sit in the shower, sit, yep, and let the hot water run, and I go on my phone, and I go on TikTok, I catch up on emails in the shower sometimes, <laughs> it's honestly really bad, if hot water wasn't included in this apartment, I probably would either not have moved in, or... We would have a very aggressive bill. Um, yeah, my showers are really, really long. My friends make fun of me for it all the time. 
I don't know when that started. I just feel like, I don't know, everybody has their like me time and mine is in the shower. I relax in there. No one's bothering me in there. I don't know. I look forward to my showers every single day and I shower every single day. Like I have a really hard time sleeping if I haven't showered before bed. Also, do you shower at night or in the daytime? Because I think it's gross that people shower in the morning because you're just taking all of your germs from the entire day and putting them in your bed. And then you're showering before you leave the house. Like that doesn't make sense to me. People who shower in the morning are very strange. I don't know. So this is done. This is the front. Look at my little wreath, so cute. Got a little doorknob, some lights, little window situation. This is this side. Um, the windows look a little sketchy, but that's okay. I have some tree gummies. This is the back, little tree by itself. This is the broken side, which honestly it doesn't look horrible. It's broken right there. Or wait, yeah, it's broken right there. Um, I get it. I get what it's like to live in a broken house, so it's fine. I'm just kidding. Um, this is it. This is the completed gingerbread house. This chimney look like, looks like it's about to fall down and I'm gonna get real mad. Hold on. I need to give it some support back here. This is the completed gingerbread house. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on. Bye.